God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do it with me as thy wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self, they may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties, that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help, of thy power, thy love, thy way of life. May I do thy will always. Will you join me in the serenity prayer? God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Amen. And then we're all going to sit quietly and write down whatever comes to mind and, re- and for just two or three minutes. And remember, you can't do this wrong and you can't fake it either. <laughs> it's going to it's just going to happen. It'll be fun. We're going to we're going to uh, hear what some of these uh, responses are that we get. It's really exciting. OK, here is our uh, here's the prayer I wrote. God, during this quiet time. I pray that my writing will reflect that my life is presently being guided by unselfishness, honesty, purity, and love. I pray to now open myself to receive your guidance and direction. I pray for the will to take your direction in a timely manner that I may continue to grow spiritually and experience a profound life of serenity and joy. Amen. Okay, let's do our writing.
Okay, we'll stop there. That was about four minutes. It's a long time when we sit quietly with our higher power, isn't it? It feels good. Well, thank you for doing this exercise with us. We realize that these messages can be very personal and are normally discussed with only your sponsor or sharing partner. However, if you believe the group can benefit from what you have received, we're asking you to share it with us now. In addition, you will be helping those who are still struggling with the 11th step to see how God discloses himself to us. Love and tolerance of others is our code. And we have ceased fighting anything or anyone, even alcohol. For by this time sanity will have returned. We will seldom be interested in liquor. If tempted, we recoil from it as from a hot flame. We react sanely and normally, and we will find that this has happened automatically. We will see that our new attitude toward liquor has been given us without any thought or effort on our part. It just comes. That is the miracle of it. We are not fighting it. Neither are we avoiding temptation. We feel as though we had been placed in a position of neutrality, safe and protected. We have not even sworn off. Instead, the problem has been removed. It does not exist for us. We are neither cocky nor are we afraid. That is our experience. That is how we react, so long as we keep in fit spiritual condition. It is easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels. We are headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. We are not cured of alcoholism. What we really have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. Every day is a day when we must carry the vision of God's will into all of our activities. How can I best serve thee? Thy will, not mine, be done. These are thoughts which must go with us constantly. We can exercise our willpower along this line all we wish. It is the proper use of the will. Much has already been said about receiving strength, inspiration, and direction from him who has all knowledge and power. If we have carefully followed directions, we have begun to sense the flow of his spirit into us. To some extent, we have become God-conscious. We have begun to develop this vital sixth sense. But we must go further, and that means more action.